Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Uncle Brian, we're going to be doing another UK taste test. Hello Tam and Tim. Here's some more treats for you to try. I've put another packet of Walker Sensations as the last packet burst from Travel and Went Stale. Thank you, Uncle Brian. I remember that because you've made me try them stale. <laughs> Have a look at everything we've got in here to try. We've got some double ups today. <gasps> Oh, violets! How cool is that? Oops. So let's do a British taste test. Potato hoops. Now we've got two different flavours that Brian has sent us and he sent us a packet each of these and it's from Snacktastic. Crunchy little potato circles, hoops, and this is beef flavour. Where do you find the name? There. Ready salted. That's all it says. So that's a plainly salted one, but that's always good. Try the beef one first. Little hoops. Mills beefy. Wow, very barbecue-y. Beefy? Barbecue beef. Oh. <laughs> What's the difference between normal beef and barbecue beef? It tastes barbecue-y. You can't get it? It does taste very beefy. To me, I don't know, this is a flavour I probably wouldn't get. Do you like it though? Because you like beef. They're from Dublin. Oh, how do you no, feel about no, it? Not really, they're, they're okay. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't not eat them, but would you go out of your way to buy a packet? Mm, maybe not, but I'd be happily eating them if they were in front of me. Now, the hoops themselves, they're quite tiny, but the other thing is, they're quite solid. They're a solid, solid potato snack. Mm. Does that make more does very it make crunchy. sense? Yeah, like very <clears throat> hard. Quite oh. salty, too. Yeah, yeah. they're okay. Yeah. Plainly salted. Next one, we're going to have the ready salted. So, oh. I guess it's just a salted one. Mm. Just the same, a little bit lighter, I think. Crunchy little nice. potato, potato, potatoes. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Need salt. This has got no flavour. It does. This is potato. Mm. Not very salted at all. It says ready salted. Very lightly salted. Does it say lightly salted? Just no, just ready. they are lightly salted, I'm saying. They're crunchy little potato circles that are ready salted. They're, just. They're okay. <laughs> Maybe the salt run out this day. No, they're on your side. Thank no. you. Next up, we're going to try something sweet, and these ones are black currant and licorice lolly things, sweet, and they're from Asda. Less plastic packaging. How can it say that? I've never seen so much plastic packaging in my life. That's plastic, and then they're all individually wrapped in plastic. Explain. It's Please cellophane explain. Cellophane plastic? I don't know. What else is it? I don't know. Let's, let's... Is it biodegradable? I don't know. No artificial flavors or colors. I'm liking this one. Are you? Ooh. They're not just licorice, they're black currant and licorice. So a really interesting flavour combination. That looks very pretty and glassy. Mm. Well so far it tastes very black currant-y, not very licorice-y. So I'm just waiting for it to come on in and say, hey, how you going mate? Bite it. Why? It'll come on in. In the middle. It's got little licorice veins in it. Veins? Hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Excuse Tim for taking the food out of the mouth and showing the world. You want to look? <laughs> you have to look at it because you have to know what's going on because they want to know what I'm talking about. And it's actually got a black licorice center in the middle there. Hmm. Licorice flavored. I like these. They're mm. a nice little pleasant surprise. I'm drooling. <laughs> Very nice. Good flavour on that one, yum. Swizzles Giant Palmer Violets, Delicately Perfumed Violet Sweets. Swizzles Palmer Violets, and they're delicately violet sweet. What are they? Delic delicately <laughs> perfumed violet. That's hard to say. Delicately? Delicately perfumed. Palmer Violets, Delic delicately. <laughs> Can you introduce them? Why are you doing such a good job? Swizzles Giant Palmer Violets, and they're delicately. I can't say delicately. I just said it. How do you get them open? I think it all opens up the whole thing on Twitter. Right, I'm going to do that. There you go, grab one. Mm. How beautiful are these? They're so pretty to look at. They smell beautiful. I really like these. Mm. How cool is that? It's so unique. I love it. It's like eating a flower. Mm. No, no, better than that. You think it tastes a bit like perfume? A little bit? It's kind of like you've gone in, given your grandma a kiss and gone, oh, she's wearing perfume and she's now got, I'm eating it. She's got violet perfume on her neck today. Mm, that's nice. They're a powdery candy. They've got a lovely, delicate flavour of sweet violet in it. And I really like these. It's a little bit like the Canadian gum thrills. And they actually say on it, tastes like soap. Do they really? Yeah, I'm does not it kidding. Like, does it 
Tastes like soap? Yeah, and I like it. <laughs> it's it tastes nice. a little bit too perfumey for my liking. I love it. Kind of reminds me of musk sticks. You know, that lovely sweetness to them. No. And you know what I love about this? Brian's given me two of me. <laughs> well, they're all yours. I won't eat them. You won't bite me for these? No. Because I really love the flavour of them. Let us know in the comments below how you feel about Parma Violets. I really love their delicate, beautiful, sweet flavour. Yum. Next up, we've got two packets of Asda Extra Special. Some sort of crispy, it's like a savoury snack. It's Oh, this one is hummus and lime flavoured chickpea pita chips. That's a lot, isn't wow. it? What's that flavour? Picking style spare rib flavoured tortilla rolls. Tortilla rolls. Tortilla rolls. Yeah, that's right. You don't say double over here, so why? Yeah. What's your roll? Deliciously crisp, crunchy, and flavorful. So these well, are crisps? Mine are perfectly crisp. Tortilla, 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 tortilla rolls. Man. Talking is not your thing today. I don't speak Spanish. Or English. <laughs> or English. Okay. You look alright. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's alright. Do you like crisps? Or. No. Like crackers. They're like a dried bread. I feel like they've got a lot of flavours listed in here and I feel like none of those flavours have particularly landed well on the crisp. You don't like it? Maybe it's the texture of the chickpea you don't like. Uh, no, I'm not liking that one. Well, I can taste the hummus in the lime, so I don't know what other flavours they say is in it. I feel like there's an element of cardboard in this one. Cardboard, okay. Can let's, you taste the cardboard? Let's try my tortilla chips rolls. Tortilla rolls, everybody, look at that. Oh. Oh. Ooh. There you go. It's like real corn chips, isn't it, rolled that, up? That excites me a lot more. That looks really good. Mm. I love them. I like that. Mm. Peking style spare rib flavour tortilla rolls. subtle flavour in it but it's nice. A little bit of salt in there which I'm liking mm. and I love that they're all rolled up like that like tuckies. Mm. Mm. I guess you're going in for more. Oh gosh yeah. <laughs> Out yes. of these what do you prefer? Those. Yeah. But you have to try them. Yeah give them a cuddle. Now these are the ones we tried last time that were stale. The flavour was nice but it was just stale. Sensation roasted chicken and thyme. Potatoes and they're potato chips. <laughs> There you go. Oh, look at those crisps. They look good. Grab yourself a crisp. A? A single crisp. <laughs> so you got your little speckled thing of herbs there in it, and they're a nice thin crisp. <laughs> you can taste the thyme, can't you? Mm. Can you taste the chicken? Mm -hmm. A little bit like a chicken stock cube sort of taste to it. I'll have to take your word on that. I've never eaten a chicken stock cube. Yeah. You know how you mix up chicken stock to go in things? Mm -hmm. And that's what it smells like and that's what it sort of tastes like. But it's really savoury tasting, lovely. I, I love it. That bit of thyme that comes on in it. It sort well. of has a refreshing undertone to it, doesn't it? Like the thyme. They're oily chippies. Mm. Tastes a little bit refreshing yeah. from the time. Because we all need a little bit more time these days. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> Next up we have Ricola. What are they called? Ricola. Now you actually used to have an ad on TV for these here in Australia, but I never found them in the supermarket. I only saw an ad for them. Luxurious licorice. And what's yours, Tam? Mine's mouthwateringly good Swiss herb sweets, refreshing lemon mint flavour. They're okay. sugar free. Let's have a go. Have a go, you mug. Classy girl. Oh, little envelope opening. Hello. Mine are dark. Mine are lemon, mine are yellow. Mine are licorice. Mm. I think oh, I we'll try this first. Yeah, first. Yeah. They're quite a reasonable size for this such a little box. I like the little envelope box. Mmm, that's nice. Refreshing. Mm. So they're Swiss herbal sweets. They're mouth watering mouth wateringly. They're mouth wateringly Swiss herbal sweets. When they say herbal, you sort of don't want to eat it. Herbal makes it sound like it's good for you and it's something that you get at the health food store. You know how the health food store always has that smell about it? Mm. And then people that come out of the health food store have always that smell have about them. and that look about them like they're just not well. Sweetened with stevia. All you right. can taste that. Mm. I don't mind these actually. I quite like the flavour of them. I like that lemon coming in and then that little bit of mint. It's a nicely balanced one. Does it take you to the Alps, Tammy? Yeah, why not? Mm. 
I like that. Ricola. Are those ads all around the world? Those Ricola ads? Oh, Are they all around they the world? Are. Do you remember that ad? Yep. Okay. And when you pop the top, it has a little saying. This one says, we wish you a lucky day. Oh! We wish you all the zest. Ah. All right. Someone's written a dad joke on this one. Okay, grab yourself a little licorice sugar free Ricola. I will. So that's it up close and personal. It's got a little R on it. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Mm, I love this one. Mmm, that's lovely. How good's that? Mm. Why don't they sell them here? They probably do if you went online. No, yeah, but that's not here, here. I want to be able to go up, walk up the local shops and grab my pack of Ricola. But well, I if can't. you go to the um, herbal shop, no. They might have them. No, they wouldn't. No, I've seen what's in our local health food store. I'm going to go up and say, do you have the Ricola herbal sweets and see what they say? I'm going to say, are they organic? No, we don't have them. Oh, yeah, we have them, but we don't have the water, water mouthering. The mouth watering good ones. <laughs> My head's gone crazy today. <laughs> really like these guys. Get some and try them if they sell them in your country. I like both of these. That one's nice and refreshing and minty and lemony. Mm. I like this one the best because it's licorice. Mm. Have we finished? <sighs> We're done. We have not. Yep. We're done. That seemed to happen really quickly for me today. You had a good time, that's why. Is it when... It's the company you keep. <laughs> it was hearing you struggle your way through oh, it today. What on earth? My words just aren't matching today. No, that's all right. We all have those days. Thank you so much, Uncle Brian, for sending us all of these sweets and treats from the UK. We really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.